welcome back to my blog, .startwithelaine.com. Um, <clears throat> today's video is um, just a tip on how to make these pretty bows using your envelope punch board. It's a brilliant way of using your scraps um, to make something useful. Um, I invariably end up with lots of little pieces like this. Um, this one ha uh, measures seven and an eighth of an inch by one inches across and in uh, centimeters that's 18 centimeters long by 2.5 centimeters in width. So we'll bring our envelope punch board in and really you need to punch, find the middle and punch. So that's about three and a half inches. So that will form the center of your bow and then um, it, uh, uh, we'll um, punch again at one and a half inches, flip it over, um, punch again at one and a half inches and that one was at three and a half half inches I think and flip it over and punch at one and a half inches so then you end up with a piece that looks rather like um, a bikini I suppose next you want to um, punch the tail so if you insert it roughly into the middle of the punch board it will punch the tail. So really when you're making these bows um, you can't have the paper too wide. The widest you can go is about one and a half inches. Then you get your bone folder and just curl the bow a little bit. And depends which way up you want it. If I'll have the uh, checkered, uh, the gingham effect on top, so that's why I'm curling it that way. And then you need some glue dots. And you put the glue dot uh, just on the edge of either side of the dip here. And then you just marry it up. Marry that edge up and fold that back. And voila, there's your bow. So to secure it, you probably need a few more glue dots. So I want one in there. and another in the fold there. How quick and simple is that? And then you could add um, a little pearl or something. So that's my tip for today. These pretty bows that you can make in the twinkling of an eye using your envelope punch board. Thanks for watching. 
and come back for more inspiration next time.